Good evening and welcome to live coverage of this under 21 Euro qualifier in Riga. In Latvia, it's Latvia under 21s against Germany under 21s. So the European champions making the trip today, looking to make a 100% start to the qualification campaign after the thumping win over San Marino. So the Germans looking really focused here on this trip. We talk over there and see the record-breaking youngster as we go through the pre-match presentation here and about to hear the anthems. <laughs> That was the German anthem, and next up, the home side, Latvia. There we are with the anthem and we're just about ready to get going here. Germany come into the game as favourites against Latvia who've lost their last four matches at this level including a 2-0 loss to Poland here a couple of days ago. And a bit of team news for you for Germany. Stefan Kunz naming the same outfield players after an excellent showing against San Marino, winning by six goals to nil. Burkhardt with the double. Okoku as well, breaking records left, right and centre with the youngest appearance at this level, as well as the youngest goal scorer for Germany. Kraus and Leveling also scoring. Kraus scoring in the opening couple of minutes just to settle any nerves for Germany. They were 5-0 up at half-time and added one in the second half with a raft of changes as well. So Kuntz trusting with the outfield players, but in goal. There is a change with Luca Philipp coming in for his debut. So congratulations to him. And he'll be hoping to keep the clean sheet this evening as there's the lineups for you. And the European champions who beat Portugal back in June hoping to make a 100% start to the campaign in Group B along with Poland, Israel, Hungary and San Marino I think that they would be top of that group at the outcome There's dramatic music before the game here let's hope it's just as dramatic in the game a cruise for Germany against San Marino. This might be a bit more of a test against Latvia. I'm 
sure they'll be trying to rack up goals after those six against San Marino. As away we go, Mukoku gets the ball rolling for the Germans. Massimo just passing in field. Massimo was up and down that right-hand side against San Marino. As there looks to be little pressure on the ball here early on from the Latvian side. There's the ball there up towards Burkhardt. Another play for the first throw-in of the game. As we saw in the opening match of the campaign, these new players, this new generation, and under 21 level, they're all very comfortable on the ball. They look to have gelled as a unit already. And that despite 16 new call-ups to the squad. Early defending to do that from Uldrichis. And out for the corner here, just over a minute played as Stefan Kuntz looks on. And an immediate goal as they got against San Marino. It's just rolled here, now played in. And away there by Phelps. And as Latvia have barely touched the ball as yet. And here's the first touch in goal for Philip. And his under 21 debut. And sharp passing into the channel here towards Makoko. Just laying it off to Burkhardt, his captain. And back out to the wing here. Just skipping around Birka. And then Birka bringing him down as he tried to recover. Good skill shown there by Burkhardt. And helped himself to two goals against San Marino. There's our first look at Alexander Bazovs, coach for Latvia, looking to improve their fortunes after four losses on the bounce. And this is an enormous test for the home team. And Germany have started with some intent here. Orals may be tested here. Applecamp and Stiller, I think it is, standing over the ball. Comes in, left-footed delivery. And away by Birka. And Philip should comfortably get this away. Latvia with the first real possession. It's hacked clear by Orals. And that's a big header there from Jiao. And he was dominant against San Marino, as you might expect, alongside Mai here. In the centre of defence. As they racked up five goals in the opening 45 minutes. Three of those coming in the last six minutes or so of that first period. So it did take some time for Germany to break down San Marino. Even after the opening goal came in the opening minutes. But once they got into their flow, San Marino just couldn't live with them. And second half, they really took their foot off the gas pedal. The game was won. They knew they had to make the trip here to Latvia. And just added the one through the sub leveling. The ball just rebounds kindly there for Kraus. And it was sprayed out towards the left hand side by Stiller, but too much on the diagonal ball that time. And Latvia could let it dri sorry, drift out of play. As we come up towards five minutes played, nil-nil. And Germany pressing, though, away from home for the opening goal. We've barely seen anything from Latvia so far. And you 
can see there in that little combination. That's what I was talking about earlier. But they are already playing as a unit and have gelled really well. This new generation. immediately that Latvia get hold of the ball there's two German shirts straight on the man and we can see the foul there coming in from Oslins the ball popped out to the run here of Massimo Short ball into midfield, just flicked up there by Applecamp. Couldn't find Stiller with the return ball. And that's a long one into the channel here for Mukoko. He couldn't get there, but just let Phelps know that he's around a little shove as he tried to get on the end of that ball. Enormous clearance upfield from Orals. And it's headed back with interest in the German defence. The ball down the line. Looking for Botch. And the corner for the Latvians. Well, the first time they've really got into the final third. And they'll need really good service here you would imagine from set pieces they'll think that this is their opportunity of scoring rather than in open play as Omtuzans goes across to take will be an out swinger looking to test Philip here tempt him out of goal it's a high one and the heads go up and it's hit the back of the net goodness me Latvia take a shock lead and it's Korotkovs who scores it. And an early goal as well, eighth minute. Well, a shock to the system. That's the high corner coming in and arriving right on cue. No one tracking him at all for Germany. And a thumping header, no chance of Philip at all. Oh, Germany were in control of the opening stages of this game. Latvia have come forward once, won a corner and got the opener. How will Germany react to that? I wonder, they've got plenty of time to get themselves back into the game. As that ball just going out for the corner of Phelps. And they'll need an immediate reply, they'll think here, after that shock opener from Korotkovs. Applecamp just rolling it again. Now the left-footed delivery and over the bar from Mai. Oh, Stefan Kunz will not have been impressed by the marking for that goal from Latvia, allowing the late run to come in completely untracked. Time the leap to absolute perfection as well, Korotkovs. Oh, now Latvia as well, though, will be under increased pressure from Germany, surely. And, well, unsure whether that will really settle any nerves. A goal that early against the European champions. Perhaps it will provoke Germany into a reaction here. And it certainly makes for an interesting game. 
We'll see what Germany are made of as we tick over 10 minutes played. And looking for movement here is Mai coming out of defence. Can only pass to Massimo. All the way back to Philip, who will have been so disappointed to concede that goal. He really stood no chance. Such was the power on the header. And as this goes all the way back now to Orals and the immense pressure from Mukoko. And Becker. And looking for Katterbach. And the ball away there as he tried to find the captain, Burkhardt. Becker down the line and Burkhardt is in on this one. Can he deliver? He tries to cut it back. Towards Makoko. Latvia can clear on that occasion. Despite all the possession from Germany, Latvia have looked pretty solid at the back. Not worried about just getting rid of the ball. As the press is led from the front there by Luzins. And Stiller gets it out to the left. Katerbach. Still playing it patiently here, Germany. Not just flying forward to try and get the leveller here. There's that ball down the centre. Well covered by Orals. As you can see, a bit of a pained expression there on Stefan Kunz's face. There's the score of the only goal so far, Korotkovs. The corner was hung up by Ontozans. Didn't look as though it would cause too much of a problem for Germany. But his late run into the box certainly did. Arriving right on cue to score. And as you see there, just tripped his chow. Massimo well tackled. On to Zanz. Oh, wow, it's a dream start for the coach here, Alexander Basovs. And the opener only eight minutes in against the European champions. And they'll look to keep it tight at least until the 20 minute mark. They'll be breaking down the game into phases, I'm sure, Latvia. a foul coming in there on the striker Luzines by Stiller dropped deep to try and pick up possession just taken out of it by the Hoffenheim midfielder the ball over the top in the end comes to nothing for the home side Philip came to claim like a little bit of a heavy pitch the ball sometimes not quite moving at the pace I think Germany would like it to it's like for a really competitive in the tackle not allowing Germany much space at the moment. I mentioned at the start of the game they weren't really pressing. But once the away team come over the halfway line, they're right in their faces, snapping in with tackles. And as we've got a quarter of an hour gone on the clock here, and 
Germany trail by one goal to nil. And they do look comfortable out there. Everything other than the scoreline has been fine so far. As we could have a chance here, but once again a little toe-ender in there, away from Katterbach. And here's the replay of the goal. You can see it's a great run from Korotkovs. It's drifting in there into the space. And that's the reaction from Mai. And that will be the signal, I think, for Latvia for pretty much the rest of the game, or for at least as long as it remains this way, just to keep it calm. Easier said than done, though, against Germany. And again, a stretching clearance there from Uldrichis this time. And they're intercepting, just making life very awkward at the moment for Germany. There's a wall of Latvian defenders on the edge of the box at all times. As this ball might break for them in midfield, indeed it does. Lucine's coming forward. Now on to, on to Zanz. They're looking to him to create as much as they can. But that ball out to the right, too much on it from Korotkovs. Couldn't find the overlapping Tonisevs. Coming up towards 10 minutes now since that goal from Latvia. And it's been all Germany since then. Good reaction, but we haven't seen a real chance created as yet. Latvia proving very difficult to break down. That's flicked around the corner nicely. Katterbach and his delivery in, the low one. Just sliced back to the goalkeeper there, Orals. Another long ball, but that one goes straight out of play. Inviting pressure from Germany and it's rather one-sided this game but the scoreline would suggest otherwise Stiller here driving through midfield Out to the right here for Appelkamp a deflected ball in is flicked on by Mukoku towards Burkhardt who will pick it up on the far side of the penalty area he's trying a trick here up against Ozolins. The ball at the edge of the box. Stiller with the layoff. And again, Latvian just getting in there. Next delivery. And next header clear. Uldrichis. Once Germany get into the final third, it's so difficult to cleanly deliver the ball into the box. As number 11 here, Luzin's just getting a warning from the referee. Just clipping the ankles there of Applecamp. Slide ball through and another clearance there on the stretch. And they're very alert defenders back there for Latvia. Not allowing any balls in behind. They are defending deep. As Burkhardt here, a little bit of space in the box. Now the shot comes in. And just sliced wide. 
in the end. It's Krause who takes it on here first time. First real shot in anger we've seen from Germany since they fell behind. Krause who scored that brilliant goal the other day to open the scoring against San Marino. They've been disappointed not to find the target and test the keeper Orals. He's been very well protected by his defence so far. Well, they're not panicking as yet Germany it's not finding it so hard to get in behind the Latvian defence they'll just keep knocking on the door as the ball takes a unfortunate bounce there Mai couldn't really control and almost a chance there for the Latvians to break forward Who's on to Zanz who was straight onto it and well, says he was brought down there by Chow. Uh, referee not in agreement. There's that long ball finds Burgart here. Trying to hold it up. It won't quite stick to him. It's very, very difficult for him and Makoko as they're surrounded by three shirts the majority of the time for Latvia. There's a little bit of a wrestle for the ball at the other end there Lucin's bringing down Chow As we're midway through the first period now Germany still behind early goal in the eighth minute from Korotkov's making the difference keeping calm on the sidelines despite the excitement he must be feeling Not leading here against European champions as there's a penalty for Germany Kraus going down while well, it was an awkward bounce in the box it allowed Kraus to get onto the loose ball and he's brought down it looks as though it's Phelps with a clumsy challenge Going down, gets nowhere near the ball. Oh, Burkhardt standing over it here. Should convert, surely. You'd think that this is key from the captain to be able to score. It's the, by far the best opportunity they've had so far. Borgard with the run up and off the bar. Incredible. And then a double save from Orals. That is extraordinary. As he rebounded off the defender, looked as though it was going to be an own goal. And he reacts from on the ground. Unbelievable action. Well, off the bar from the captain. Here they come again. Germany drilling it through. And that is the equaliser. And it's Mukoku who's done it. A terrific strike, arrowing it into the corner. 25th minute. Well, this game has absolutely exploded into life here. With that missed penalty from Burkhardt. And then on the resulting corner, Mukoku drilling it. Through a lot of bodies in the box there. And no chance this time for the keeper. As it just comes off the defender there. Set up by Chow. And shifts it here, Makoko, onto his right foot. And that's a great finish from the young man. 
third goal at this level in only two games. And he is somewhat of a goal machine, the Borussia Dortmund man. Such talent at a young age. here 26th minute it's Latvia 1 Germany 1 they finally found a way through Germany they passed up the gift of a penalty hammered off the bar by Burkhardt but then the resulting corner finished off by Mukoku after some slack defending for once from Latvia and there's more here perhaps a chance of Mukoku for the next one and deflected over the bar well, now the chance is coming thick and fast for the away side. They make space for it. It doesn't deflect on its way through. It's a wayward finish. It looked as though it had come off a defender in real time. But in that replay, you can see it's high wide and not so handsome. And a wasted chance there to take the lead for Germany. But now they'll be more confident they can create chances against this tough Latvian defence, who seem really shaken by conceding the penalty in the first in instance. Oh, I think it's going to be a long game from now on in for Latvia, surely. Tails up for Germany. And, well, you can't argue that it's a deserved equaliser for Germany. They've been on top from the first whistle. They've suffered the shock of going behind to the basically one attack that Latvia have had winning a corner. And now they're back in it here. Oh, perhaps it was who won the penalty. Phelps bringing him down. Really struggling as the ball rebounded off Mukoku towards him. Lovely ball through and a chance for Kraus. Great stop there. Will it fall to another German shirt? It does. Katterbach, though, blocked on the follow-up. Oh, this is turning into shooting practice now for the Germans and they'll have another opportunity here from this free kick. Uh, Katterbach going down. Late challenge coming in as this is Kraus trying to go across the goalkeeper. Did the right thing, but Orhals got his angles right. edge at the moment as we come up towards half an hour played Latvia 1 Germany 1 and the Germans looking ultra motivated to now get their noses in front and it's the team who've lost their last four matches of course
still again looking for that through ball this time towards Apple Camp and he gets it again still and tries again to find Burkhardt and that's more good goalkeeping from Orals. a cracking stop after the penalty rebounded off the bar it looked as though it was going to be an own goal somehow managed to shovel it out of play as the next strike comes in Kraus though just couldn't quite keep his head over the ball that time and sends it soaring over the bar as here is the equaliser for Mukoko just laid off there by Chow after it dropped to him and that is arrowed a perfect finish well, he certainly looks as though he belongs at this level in this age group despite his tender years and slotting into the under 21s here very much like he slotted in at the senior team and Borussia Dortmund, they just couldn't wait to get him onto the field. The youngest player ever in the Bundesliga and the youngest scorer. And that record I don't think will ever be broken. He's coming onto the field a couple of days after his 16th birthday. And as Germany have really upped the tempo. the penalty a real spark for them in this game Mokoko quick turn trying to find some space to get the shot away and he does and down the middle and again saved by Orals well, he only had one idea in his head here Mokoko and that was to get a shot away no chance of him laying it off for one of his teammates Goalkeeper Orals, certainly one of the busiest players now down on the field. In complete contrast to Philip at the other end, the debutant for Germany. He's barely touched it. away by Lokchikovs and the ball now does go all the way back to Philip he's a virtual spectator out there just trying to keep him involved I think they're Massimo Seeing a lot of the ball, and it's a clever one out to Massimo. It's low ball in in the end, easy though for the keeper to claim. You see a run down the right hand side here from Latvia. Tonasivs, well challenged Not for a throw for him. got just over 10 minutes remaining now in this first half and a half where Germany have steadily improved as time has gone on recovering really well from the shock of falling behind to Latvia and also the missed penalty from Burkhardt I think it was important that Mukoku scored almost immediately after that as if time was war on it might have been in the backs of their minds that it's just one of those games it's just not going their way however since then a number of chances created by the Germans and here they come again Massimo gets into the box and trying to 
Just put one across goal. It was cross come shot in the end. Neither here nor there in the end, really. Under a little bit of pressure there, too much pressure, says the referee from Luzins. It just got caught here between the legs, really, of Tiao. Um, Luzins thought he had an opportunity to get hold of possession. Instead, he grabbed hold of his shirt, tugged him back. And that's the correct decision from the Austrian referee. camp now in for Mukoku and tried the effort again rebounds here for Katterbach my short pass into midfield it's popping it about here nicely Germany and now on for the run of Mukoku and that's good defending up against him there from Lotchikovs Superb covering. There's that five man defence. Well, it's rather shakier than it was earlier on. It's still tough to break down. How can Germany produce from this corner? Again, it's rolled short by Applecamp. And Stiller is penned into the corner. And if it remains like this at half time, I'm sure that Stefan Kuntz will make changes as I said at the start of the program they want to keep up their 100% record in the early stages of this qualifying campaign Latvia at the moment proving a tough nut to crack Distance again on his kick. And he was fed towards the corner here for Lucines. Mai was there to cover. And Alexander Bassel's now looking rather more worried than he was earlier. forward and looking for the free kick there but no chance of that clean tackle from Becker as Klaus just grabbed there as he tried to run forward still gets the ball into Makoko in the end and again going for the strike this time left footed blocked by the defenders Typical striker Makoko always looking to fire off a shot as soon as possible. Never really a thought of passing to a teammate in those kind of positions. Anywhere within 20 yards for him. His shooting range. As we saw with his goal. Superbly controlled. Great power as well behind it. Good work rate from Kraus, and he's earned himself a corner. And five minutes to go before half time. And the Germans just edge in front here against the Latvians for the first time. And it comes from Stiller, curled in towards the six yard area. It's away initially, thumped back in again, but now the counter-attack could be on for Latvia. 
We've got four against three. That's surely offside. It's been left, though. That's very clever. And in the end, well, what was that? The overlapping run there from Ozzelins just seemed to completely lose his composure and left the ball pretty much for Philip to claim. Well, that's offside, absolutely, but they leave it, and in the end, it's a pass to himself. Extraordinarily from Ozzelins. Bizarre scenes there. And Germany, though, playing that high line. And as they go back up the other end on the attack, it's been one-way traffic in this first half. As the shot comes in from Stiller, that's brilliant. 2-1 Germany. Well, a goal from pretty much nowhere there. As minimum backlift from Stiller. And he hammers it into the corner of the net. Great finish. A wonderful drive. Let's have another look at it here. Massimo with the layoff, doesn't look to be too much on. But he allows it to go across his body onto his stronger left foot. And no chance for Orals at all. That's a wonderfully controlled effort. That's two great finishes from Germany now in this game. Low and hard. Oh, you've got to feel slightly sorry for Orals. He's done so well in this game to keep the scoreline down. He's been beaten by two strikes of great quality. It's what Germany needed to find to beat him, really. And from here, having worked their way from behind, you would expect in the second half for them to continue in this vein and come away with a comfortable victory here in Riga. The first half, you'd say, has been somewhat less than comfortable with the defending from Latvia, especially in the opening stages until that penalty was conceded. Since then, a little bit more porous, more chances created by Germany. And it's needed two absolutely thunderous efforts from Mukoku. And Stiller to make the difference. And the ball just bouncing up there. Uncomfortable for Becker. Becker again, out to the left, Katterbach, plenty of grass in front of him, just holds it up. And Stiller, he's been running the game from midfield. Coming in, balls into the box from all angles and getting the all-important goal for 2-1 Germany. As we take into the final minute of the first half, I don't think there'll be too much time added on, perhaps a minute or two for that penalty, which was missed by Burkhardt. It's been a first half full of incident, very entertaining indeed, this under-21 Euro qualifier. Oh, One-sided, but the early goal from Latvia really put the cat amongst the pigeons uh, they've made Germany work very hard to get this lead which they'll surely defend until half time although the ball does come across here for Birka deflected on its way in and that could have been disastrous for Germany but Philip controlling his penalty area very well there coming out sharply to claim Ah, 
Miles Ride on 45 minutes. The referee blows up for half time. So Germany go in at the break. 2-1 to the good. Away from home in Latvia. Coming from behind after Korotkovs had scored early. A missed penalty as well for Burkhardt. But just a minute later, Mokoko drilling home. And still a four minutes for half or half time. Driving into the corner. Join us in 15 minutes or so to see if they can increase their lead. Welcome back to the second half here of this Euro under 21 qualifier in Riga. Latvia up against Germany and it was a dramatic first half. Germany leading at the break by two goals to one having come from behind. An early goal scored by Latvia. Only eight minutes in when Korotkov's headed home from a corner and that really put Germany into action it took them a while to break down Latvia though who've been defending very strongly they got a penalty which Burkhardt smashed onto the crossbar the goalkeeper then making a save on a follow-up it looked as though it was going to be an own goal and from the resulting corner in the 25th minute Mukoku drilling into the corner for 1-1 one -one. And from then on in, it was really one-way traffic. Germany creating chance after chance. As Latvia take the kickoff for the second half here. But it was down to Stiller. Four minutes before half-time. Rifling home from outside the box. Great finish. Two really good goals from Germany in that first half. And they'll be looking to continue that fine finishing form in this second half. And... Perhaps rack up the goals, get a comfortable victory here away from home after that 6-0 win in San Marino. But the Latvians, as we saw in the first half, are not lying down here for Germany. And they're coming on the attack here in the opening minute of the half. We haven't seen too much from them in an attacking sense. But they are dangerous from set pieces, as we witnessed. And there's an early corner here for Germany to defend. We need to watch that man, Korotkovs, who got the opener running in late. As we see Philip there in his debut at this level. Won't want to be beaten again. Well, Germany worked very hard to put themselves ahead as there's another high delivery here this time it goes across to the far edge of the penalty area Ozzelines though couldn't deliver and Germany come away on the break here down the right for Massimo rolling it across for Mukoku dribbling into the box laying it back off for Massimo and the driven cross, half headed away by Latvia, out to the captain Burkhardt. We want to make up for that missed penalty in the first half. Terrific power on it, but smashed off the face of the crossbar. And Latvia trying to threaten a little more often here as they look to grab an equaliser to shake up Germany again. to Zanz losing out there to Massimo and a lovely dribble here and he got the shot in and that's an excellent block from Vipes and who gave away the penalty oh, Massimo thought he was in here but he didn't reckon with a, yet another stretching clearance from the Latvian defence Stiller Looks in the resulting corner and surely 3-1 it is. Brilliantly taken and it's Chow who's done it. Well, that will settle any nerves that Germany had at all after half-time. And Chow has done it. Stiller curling in a perler of a corner. And... I have to say, the centre-back, the Schalke man, couldn't really miss from there, unchallenged. <laughs> well, 
once the Germans get rolling, they are pretty much unstoppable, it would appear. Well, that gives them a cushion. And I would imagine they'll grab themselves another goal or two from here on in. We did see against San Marino when they were 5 0 up and comfortable. They took their foot off the pedal. And I think having been given that shock at the start of the game with Latvia taking the lead, I can't imagine that Stefan Kuntz will want his team to sit back and defend a lead like this. Really good opportunity here for Germany to go on the goal scoring trail again. As the ball was just held up there in the turf, and that's really uncomfortable for Katterbach. Had to react and get the ball, couldn't allow it to just bounce through for Philip there. Taking charge of the situation. Five minutes into the second half, we've seen a goal already from that man, Chow. Pumps the header away here. I'd have to say that two men up for the Man of the Match awards here. Perhaps the goalkeeper Orals, who performed admirably in the first half to keep the scoreline down for Latvia. And, and Stiller who's got an assist and a goal to his name now. He's controlled the game from midfield. There's Mukoko. And they off back to his defence here. Touch there from Becker, playing himself into trouble. And Botch goes for goal. From about 25 yards, but couldn't control the shot whatsoever. A let off there really for Becker. Right, slices horribly off the outside of his boot there from Botch. I think that Latvia will now have a shoot on site policy. Two goals down there, want to test Philip a little bit more often. There's that ball slid through here towards Makoka. This time he can bring it under control. There was an offside flag anyway raised against him. Latvia getting straight on with it now, no time wasting. on its way over and Chow has to step in ahead of on to Zanz as we're gonna see a change here the first for Germany and it's gonna be Becker coming off for Marco John Striker for Hoffenheim. Nineteen year old call ups for this trip to Latvia, looking to make an impact. As we see Kraus go down there under a challenge. Oh, 
Camp turning sharply there. And floating the ball out to the left for Katterbach. Main off for Burkhardt. Can't make anything of it though. And here he is again though, Burkhardt. Dribbling into the penalty area. Just knocked away from him. Back to Katterbach. And it looked as though Applecamp could have prodded that home. Just evaded him though. Came through a clutch of bodies towards the attacking midfielder. Oh, ten minutes now into the second half. And it's been excellent from Germany. A goal from Chow just after half time. Really giving them a lift as Orals there. Just misjudging the bounce of the ball. Penalty area there. It's a little bit bouncy. And again, he goes for the long clearance. Oh, difficult to judge the bounce on this pitch. I said in the first half it was a bit heavy and there's no chance there again for Lucines to hold the ball up for his teammates to come and support him and the counter attack is on here Is at the moment only finding white shirts that we just can't get out. And that's a decent clearance this time away from Burkhardt. Birka doing well. Kettebach. Köln left back. Just exchanging passes with Stiller. Oh my. Looking to join the attack, and that's a clever ball for Mokoko. Just couldn't turn inside the defender. And free kick given that. Stiller stopping the counter attack before it could really start. On to Zanz, it was. Trying to burst through midfield. And Germany again pouncing on the ball in midfield. Stiller across to the right, shooting chance and over the bar. Well, it's Kraus again. One of those late runs that aren't being tracked by the Latvian midfield at the moment. Just lifting it over. Well, the chances are there for Germany for certain now. That's a clever turn from Mai. For Stiller. And a good interception from Korotkovs. It seems a long time ago now since his goal for 1 0 in the eighth minute. And on there. Just unable to control. And in with the. Next challenge, All rebounding for Katterbach, and then a little bit of a sloppy pass back towards Chow, inviting Latvian pressure. <laughs> oh, 
Zantemach gets the throw in in the end as we come up towards the hour mark here in Riga 3-1 to Germany that's a lovely run from him and a terrific stop from Philip as well well he ghosted between two defenders tried to finish off the chance for himself that's really really aggressive and Philip comes out closing the angles perfectly Philip will be happy with that. And a save and then a clearance there under all kinds of pressure. Latvia starting just to up the tempo and they're going to make substitution. And it's going to be Botch. Coming off for Zingis. Going straight into the game here, receiving the throw in. Having his pocket picked, but then doing likewise to get possession again for Latvia. As the shot comes in from long range, and it's a poor effort from Birka, the left back. Stefan Kuntz. Uh, looking rather peaceful, I have to say, on the sidelines now that his team have got this cushion over Latvia. The longer the game went on, the more he would have been concerned. But since that missed penalty from Burkhardt in the 24th minute, things have looked rather rosier as Mukoku blasted home just a minute after that. Stiller putting his team up at half time four minutes before the break and then that Chow header three minutes after the restart and Latvia here starting to get a little bit of joy in that final third free kick here given away by Katterbach arm on the shoulder there of Ozelins and a dangerous position for the home side Germany have got their wall lined up here. And it looks as though it's going to be Ontozans who fancies this one on his right foot. Just taking his time after the decoy run. Blasts it in and off the roof of the net there. Not a bad effort, got it whipped up over the wall. Couldn't get it back down again to test Philip. So another change now coming from Stefan Kuntz as Applecamp is coming off. Leveling on, who scored the other day against San Marino. <laughs> Came on a sub and scored the only goal of the second half in that game. He's looking to get his name on the score sheet once again here at under 21 level. A greater third man. change that was made as well Massimo off for Ludovic and too much pressure there from Burkhardt some fresh legs out there then for Stefan Kunz's side
just over 25 rem minutes remaining here. And expect Germany to hold on despite increasing pressure from Latvia. Next ball into the box. Towering header away by Chow. But this might mean there's a little bit of space for Germany to come on the counter-attack as the game opens up. Early delivery towards Burkhardt, just over his head. If they can get the distribution into the box right here, Germany. They should be able to really finish off Latvia. They're caught late by the striker Luzin's a typical striker's challenge and he's going to go into the book first yellow of the game by my reckoning 65 minutes in no real malice in it I think from the forward it's mistiming it he's really late expression on the face of Alexander Bazovs. And Katerbach going to wrestle it away there from the sub -Tingis. Threaded through towards Makoku, touches it on here for Burgard with the back heel. And almost a great combination between the two front players. Doing really well in a tight spot there, Burkhardt. Lovely creativity. You can't quite find the angle though to find Makoku again. there we restart with the throw in for Latvia Stiller Doing really well again and looking for the ball over the top there couldn't quite get enough on it Jorn it's taking a dig from long range midway through the second half here an effort but easily fielded there by Orals. Leveling who fancied his chances. Well covered there by Mike. If in doubt, get it out. No need to play from the back under that kind of pressure. Oh, corner conceded. Zanz. wonder if it'll be another high delivery as we've seen from their other corners it's whipped in this time and breaking his neck there to try and press this one we are holding on to the ball on to Zanz. clever ball to him and the layoff here and no shot comes from it. Luzin's doing really well. Showing good strength against the German centre back there. Can create an opportunity though. Tuzans is buzzing around everywhere at the moment. 
looks to be the creative hub for this Latvian under-21 side. Sharp turn, but it's away by Katterbach. And they're in behind again here. Latvia, that's a tremendous block, though, from Katterbach again. As Latvia suddenly pushing everyone forward. Winning a couple of corners now in succession. And defending here for Germany to do. So far they've repelled what Latvia can throw at them other than that early goal from a corner. So they'll have to watch it here as Ontosans again puts it in. And it's another late run from the goal scorer Korotkovs. This time though taking the strike with his foot and arcing it over the bar. 20 minutes to go here. Germany looking comfortable, not really rattled by this pressure from Latvia, which you might say is too little, too late. And they find themselves two goals down since the 48th minute, the Chow header. Yeah. Oh, switched here. For Latvia to attack, Tonisevs. Dribbling in field, goes down, wants a free kick, doesn't get it from the referee, but Latvia still have the ball. And another good tackle coming in there from Katerbach. He wants the throw, but it's been awarded the other way. the shouts from the German coaching staff they don't want to concede another corner and then they can play it out down the wing Gorkhardt couldn't quite get there was also given a little shoulder charge off the field they're getting straight back on it again They're almost being caught in possession. Could launch it upfield. Looks as though we're going to see another couple of changes for Germany imminently. As Burkhardt sets off on a run here. Lines up Kraus. Now out to the right hand side for Leverling. And into the side netting. touch to set it off but it, the angle was too tight for him in the end and well one of my men of the match coming off here Stiller an assist and a goal for him this evening really good showing as Bauer comes on to replace him Kotchap also on for Chow. A deserved rest for the Schalke man who got the third goal. So two goal scorers off for Germany. Fresh legs on for the remaining 17 minutes. Good man management for Stefan Kuntz. Giving as many players as possible the opportunity to impress because it is a new generation of under 21 players after winning the Euros earlier this year and I want to do the previous generation 
Some real good here by going on and emulating them. That's an excellent start to the campaign here. It stays like this. Two wins from two. Can't argue with that. The trip to San Marino. I could say was expected. Latvia. Although they've been in poor form with four losses in a row in the build-up to this one. Could have been a very tricky trip indeed, especially falling behind so early Germany. But they've really impressed with their teamwork. And they've got the goals as well at key moments. A goal from Mokoko just after Burkhardt had missed a penalty. Stiller scoring four minutes before half-time. And Chow three minutes after half time. And now looking rather comfortable, even though Latvia are throwing everything they can at them. It's been a fairly quiet evening for Philip in goal on his debut at this level. This is my. Burkhardt not quite having the success he did the other day against San Marino. He's always showing for the ball as he did there. Oh, one on down the left hand side here. On to Zanz. The danger man for Latvia. Doing well just to cut off the supply line. You can see Ontozan's a little bit frustrated at the moment, putting in a lot of work but not getting the reward. Just resetting, getting back to my record chap. No ball in. And away there, rather easily by Birka. Yes, that's a goal kick. Well done there in the corner by the striker Luzins. Under pressure from Ludovic. So the match now is drifting towards its conclusion. Perhaps Germany would like just to grab one more goal here to show their dominance. And it's been controlled from the first whistle really by Germany. Just that slip. Korotkovs to come in unmarked and head home that corner on eight minutes. Otherwise, an immaculate performance really away from home. Very professional. Just what was required. forward now Looking for Burghardt the defender though is covering Ludwig is doing well there to hold him off the German captain he gets the loose ball here 
Makoku cuts back up towards him. Leon doing well. As that's a heavy challenge coming in. Tonisevs, the yellow cards coming out. And understandably as well, hacking in. It's a really heavy one on Kataba. I'm not sure knew he was coming. Couldn't prepare himself for the impact there. Free kick then for Germany, 10 minutes to go. To whip this one in. And he comes towards the far post, headed back across, but off target there. There's Bella Kocha. He just couldn't quite get over it. Last push, perhaps from Latvia in this final 10 minutes of the game. If they can work one goal, it might just set the nerves rattling for Germany. Not been too much sign though of Germany shaking here. Ball over the top, and well, the striker was in the clear, Lucins, but in an offside position. Flag went up late as he went to get the header. levels from Latvia have been much better in this second half it's chasing a bit of a lost cause to be honest the first half they were quite happy to soak up the pressure from Germany until they cracked second half they've been more on the front foot but it's a game dominated by the Germans as you might well expect as well Lusins this time is in the wars, it's Leverling just catching him on the yellow card for the German midfielder on the stretch here. Oh, won the ball initially, it's just on the follow through, tripping Luzins. Third yellow card of the game, two for Latvia. That's the first. for Germany he's still hobbling here Lusins after that challenge came in on him it's an excellent ball out to the right hand side and a great sliding challenge Back to Orals. Two Germany players getting in each other's way. And he's really, really struggling, Lucins. He's down on his haunches there. I think he's going to have to be replaced for the final six and a half minutes of the game. As we see Cookins is stripped and ready to go. Next time the ball goes dead, I'm sure he'll be introduced for Luzins. Alexander Basos pushing his players on. Looking to avoid a fifth defeat in a row.
never really looked likely once Germany got themselves ahead through that excellent Stiller goal four minutes before half time and then come from behind that's my to pick a pass just to find Ludwig letting the ball do the work here Germany at the moment back to Philip about five minutes left on the clock here So no time added on in the first half. I would imagine a minute or two here. Oh, it's looped out towards this near side. Mukoko looking to prove a menace. The goalkeeper getting their first or else. goal at this level from Mukoko three in two games a real sharp shooter hasn't been so involved in this second half as the game has opened up Matthew coming forward a little more often Clever onto Zanz. And he's brought down by Kraus. And I think the yellow card going to come out for the midfielder as well. And he's frustrated with himself, allowing onto Zanz to get the run on him. And coming in late, missing the ball entirely. Another chance for Latvia to get the ball into the box here. Three and a half minutes left. And Germany won't want there to be a grandstand finish from the home team. Well, Two-man wall is lined up by Philip. from on to Zanz and just punched away by Philip. Not sure if it was on target or not, just needed to get it away. And that's an enterprising run and a horrible sliced finish. Yeah, from the sub Zengis. Well, he did the hard part really well. Once it came to the shot, it was all over the place. Just taking a swipe at it with his left foot. And it's time's ticking down here for Germany to celebrate two wins from two at the start of this Euro Championship qualification. That puts the pressure, of course, on the other teams in the group Poland, Israel, Hungary, and San Marino. Well, finally, the man Luzins can go off and Kokins on in his place for 90 seconds or so, plus time added on. See a long clearance out by Bella Kotchap. <laughs> looks as though Germany are satisfied with this 3 1 scoreline. Looks as though we're going to see no further goals unless there is some late drama here as we tip over into the final minute. 
A goal from Chow. Three minutes after half-time, ceiling matters. And being delighted to get that goal so early in the second half. Adding to goals in the first half from Mukoku and Stiller. So of course the missed penalty from Burkhardt, but it mattered little. And it's only one minute later, Mukoku from the resulting corner was able to drive home for the level up. Stiller with, for me, a man of the match performance. Getting the second. And the assist for the third as well for the Chow header from a corner. As the 90 minutes are up here. So three minutes will be added on. And Untuzans again lining up the free kick here. There's Koratkovs who opened the scoring in this game on eight minutes. Shot to the system for Germany, but they've recovered really well. And that's an excellent catch from Philip. Exactly what Germany needed at this stage of the game. Nice clean take. And this team looks really well drilled by Stefan Kuntz. away trips at the start of the campaign not ideal they've come out of those two trips to San Marino and Latvia unscathed and the one goal conceded in those two and nine scored and could have been more here as well if not for the performance of Orals especially in the first half Keeping the score line down. And Zorn here. And free kick for Germany. I think they'll just look to keep possession. In fact, he does feed it in towards that fast stick. Away by Korotkovs. And a coach up. Back in towards Jorn. Player goes down, no penalty. Referee was looking straight at it. Too much of an appeal from the Germans. Ludovic. Patiently just waiting for the seconds to tick down here before they can celebrate. A well deserved win here in Riga. is played in by Leveling. Out on the far side throw for Latvia and that should just be about that really. And they fell behind Germany early doors. They could have panicked, they didn't. They kept just pressing, knocking on the door and in the end it's a 3-1 win that they've eased to as the referee blows the full-time whistle. And you can hear on the sidelines, that's a well-celebrated victory as well. They know they've been in a game, Germany. You would have expected nothing less from a tough-looking trip to Latvia. But in the end, goals from Mukoku, Stiller and Chow mean that they've bagged three more points, six from six at the start of the campaign. But a fifth defeat in a row for Latvia at this level. Well, thank you very much for joining us this evening for coverage of that under-21 game. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the celebrations as well. And see you again soon. Thanks very much from me and goodbye.